If you're struggling with low FPS, stuttering, or CPU bottlenecking while gaming, then this video is for you. Today, I'll be showing you proven methods to fix CPU bottlenecking, optimize your system, and boost your gaming performance for smoother and lag-free gameplay. Whether you're playing CS2, Valorant, Fortnite, or any other game, these settings will help you unlock your CPU's full potential and get the best possible FPS. So, make sure to watch till the end and follow each step carefully. If this video helps, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Let's get started. The main reason behind the CPU bottlenecking issue is your power throttling. So, we need to disable power throttling on Windows. To do that, press Windows plus R together on your keyboard, and a window will pop up on your screen. Simply type gpidit.msc and hit OK. Now, navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates System. Scroll down and you will find the Power Management folder. Here it is, our Power Management folder. Open it up, then go to Power Throttling Settings, where you will find an option called Turn Off Power Throttling. Double-click on it, and you need to enable the setting to disable or turn off power throttling on your Windows. Once done, hit Apply, then click OK, and that's it. To optimize your PC for better gaming performance, we need to disable a background service that unnecessarily consumes CPU, RAM, and disk resources. Type Services in Windows search bar and open it. This will bring up a list of services that are actively running in the background, contributing to the number of processes on your computer. We will go through these services and disable the ones that are unnecessary, such as connected user experiences and telemetry. This particular service sends your usage and diagnostic data to Microsoft. If you prefer not to share this data, simply right-click on the service, go into Properties, and change the startup type from Automatic to Disabled. Once done, click Apply and then OK to save the changes. Another service that you can disable is Downloaded Maps Manager. If you do not use maps on your PC, it is safe to turn the service off. Similarly, if you do not have a printer or do not use one, you can disable the Print Spooler service. The Windows Biometric service is specifically for laptops with fingerprint scanners. If you are using a desktop like I am and do not require this feature, you can disable it without any issues. Additionally, you will find the Windows Insider service in the list. This service is designed for users who wish to gain early access to new Windows versions. If you are not part of the Windows Insider program or have no interest in preview builds, you can go ahead and disable it as well. You can carefully go through the list of services and disable any that you do not need. However, it is important to exercise caution and do proper research before disabling anything. For instance, some users may disable Bluetooth, only to later realize that they actually use it. If you disable the Bluetooth service, its functionality will stop working entirely. So, before turning off any service, make sure to check what it does to avoid any unintended issues. Taking a few moments to research now can help prevent potential problems later. Disabling unnecessary permissions reduces background processes, freeing up CPU resources and helping to minimize bottlenecking for better performance. Go to Settings, then navigate to Privacy and look for the Windows Permissions section. Here, you can disable features that are not necessary. Start by clicking on General and turning off all permissions. Then go to Speech and switch it off completely. Next, under Inking and Typing Personalization, disable the Personalization feature to prevent Windows from collecting and using your typing data. In the Diagnostics and Feedback section, review the available options and turn off anything unnecessary to reduce the amount of data being shared or stored. After that, move on to App Permissions to customize which features your apps can access. Disable permissions for anything you don't use, such as location, camera, microphone, and contacts. Additionally, you can turn off access to less commonly used features like phone calls, call history, email, and messaging. Disabling these permissions not only enhances your privacy, but also helps reduce the resources your system uses, ultimately making your computer run smoother and more efficiently. Now guys, download this Fix CPU Bottlenecking Pack on your PC. You can download it from my official website. Feel free to check this pack with any virus detection tool or website. It's completely virus-free. After download, extract it on your desktop and open the folder. Open the CPU Optimization folder. Here you'll find several files that need to be installed one by one. Take your time and make sure that all the files are properly installed without skipping any steps. Next, open the CPU Priority folder. Inside this folder, you'll see two subfolders, one for Intel CPUs and another for AMD CPUs. Choose the folder that corresponds to your processor type. If you're using an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and install the respective file. 
On the other hand, if you're using an AMD CPU, open the AMD folder and install that file. Once you've completed these steps, proceed to install the install part control, one of the best applications for getting the maximum performance from your CPU. Once you have the part control application open, scroll down and select the bit some highest performance. Next, make sure that parking AC, parking DC, frequency scaling AC, and frequency DC are all disabled and set to 100. Then click on Bitsum Dynamic Boost and ensure it is enabled. What this setting does is disable threads that aren't in use during lighter tasks like browsing. However, when you're gaming, it will enable all threads to optimize performance. In the power options, make sure to select Bitsum Highest Performance. This will maximize your CPU performance for the best EFPS, ensure everything is set to 100% for maximum performance, then click Make Active and Apply to activate these settings. So guys, now for the next step, we'll be using Process Lasso on our PC to optimize settings for the specific program where we are experiencing low FPS and CPU bottlenecking. To get started, double-click on the Process Lasso application, click OK, accept the agreement by clicking I agree, then click Next, and install the tool on your PC. Once the installation is complete, open the application and go to the main menu. From there, navigate to Active Profile and set it to Bitsum High Performance. After selecting this option under Power Control, no further adjustments are needed. Now go to the Pro Balance section, uncheck the box to disable it, then return to the main menu and check Performance Mode Enable to ensure optimal settings for your processor. Next, launch the specific game where you're facing low FPS and CPU bottlenecking. For example, if you're playing Fortnite, Valorant, CSGO, or any other game that you want to optimize, open Active Processes in Process Lasso. Locate the process of that specific game, right-click on it, go to CPU Priority, select Always, and set it to High. Then go back to that application, go to CPU Affinity, select Always, and assign it to all CPU cores. Now move on to Memory Priority, select Always and set it to Above Normal. Go to Power Profile and set it to Bitsum High Performance or the custom power plan you created using the Power Control feature. Finally, right-click on the game's exe file, go to More, and set it to Disable Idle Saver. Once you have applied all these settings in Process Lasso, close the application. It will continue running in the background whenever you turn on your PC, ensuring that these optimizations remain active. So guys, after applying all these settings, you should notice a significant improvement in FPS and reduced CPU bottlenecking. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game it will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now we will do some essential Windows settings. These steps will help to reduce CPU bottlenecking. First, open the search bar and type Adjust. You will then see an option called Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. Click on it to access the Performance Settings tab. By default, the settings will be set to Adjust for Best Appearance. However, to optimize performance, you should change it to Adjust for Best Performance. When you make this change, all visual effects will be deselected, which can improve system speed but may also reduce visual clarity. To maintain some basic functionality while still optimizing performance, you should manually re-enable a few essential settings. These include Animate Windows when Minimizing and Maximizing, Save Taskbar Thumbnail Previews, Show Thumbnails instead of Icons, Show Window Contents while Dragging, smooth edges of screen fonts. In my opinion, these are the best settings to keep enabled 
as they ensure a smooth user experience without compromising performance. Once you have made these adjustments, don't forget to click Apply and then press OK to save the changes. Now select Advanced. Here you can choose how your processor resources are allocated. Make sure to set it for the best performance of programs. If it's set to background services, it won't be ideal for gaming or streaming. The active program will get most of the resources. For example, if I had a game open, the system would prioritize that game's performance, ensuring it runs smoothly. Now, in the next step, type msconfig in Windows search bar and click on it. This will open the system configuration window. Next, click on the boot tab, then go to advanced options. Here, check the box for number of processors and set it to the maximum available number. After making this adjustment, click OK, then click Apply to save the changes. You can restart your computer later for these changes to take effect. Now, guys, press Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type Temp and press Enter to access your temporary Windows files. Once inside, press Ctrl plus A to select all files and then hit Delete to remove most of them. Don't worry if some files can't be deleted, that's completely normal. Next, open the run box again, type %10% percent and press enter. This will take you to another folder containing temporary files. Repeat the process. Control plus A, then delete. Again, some files may not be deleted, which is expected. Now right-click on the Start menu and select Device Manager. In Device Manager, find the drop-down labeled System Devices and expand it. Scroll down until you see an entry called High Precision Event Timer. Disabling the High Precision Event Timer can help reduce CPU bottlenecking, leading to improved FPS and smoother performance. To disable it, simply right-click on it and select Disable Device. I personally disabled this setting, and it has improved my performance. However, if you notice a drop in performance or lower FPS after disabling it, you can easily re-enable it. Now guys, go to the search bar and look for the option called Show Animations in Windows. Many people don't realize that both Windows 10 and Windows 11 have a feature that allows you to customize the animations across the system. When this feature is enabled, you'll see smooth and fancy animations when switching between windows. However, these animations can consume a lot of your computer's resources. To improve your PC's performance, turn this setting off. Once disabled, the animations will be completely removed. Additionally, there's another setting called Show Transparency in Windows that you should also turn off. This will remove the transparency effect from Windows, including the taskbar and other areas. Make sure to disable both of these settings to ensure your system runs faster and more efficiently. Disabling core isolation can enhance CPU performance. This can lead to smoother gameplay and higher FPS, especially on mid-range or older systems. To do this, search for core isolation in the Windows search bar and click on it. Core isolation is a security feature that uses virtualization to protect your system from malware. While it improves security, it also consumes system resources, which may impact gaming performance. Disabling it can free up valuable CPU power, potentially giving your FPS a noticeable boost. However, keep in mind that turning off core isolation lowers your system's security. So, carefully weigh the trade-off between performance and protection before making this change. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button, make sure to subscribe. Peace out.